Hello again. Um, I have another simple little test demo I'd like to show. This has to do with uh, shadow mapping, and I finally figured out how to make it work. Well, this demonstrates uh, basic shadow mapping. As you can see, it the shadows themselves are projected onto these objects correctly. Um, how shadow mapping works is basically you um, you take a scene, which you take the death buffer and you um <coughs> uh, to explain. <laughs> I'm so out of it right now. Uh, you take the death buffer and whatever is not in front of these um, objects it will uh, make it black or basically it's an area where the light isn't hitting um, this basically means that um, whatever that area is it's going to cover it up um, there's a few problems with shadow mapping <coughs> which includes um, if you don't have a bias it will have what is known as arc which is because it's a texture there will be a whole bunch of like squiggly looking lines um, which that's an issue also there's another issue called Peter Panning which basically means that your objects are way too thin the way to fix that you have to have thicker objects on the screen say if you have an infinitely fit plane that's not like this one that's standing up it could possibly peter pan because of um <coughs> that issue also um another let's uh, because i'm doing this with directional lighting you can get away with using an orthogonal um projection if you want to do say point light shadows you would need to use a cube map to do omnidirectional shadow lot shadow mapping and that will take a lot more processing power so you probably don't want to use 1024 by 1024 um, shadow <coughs> 2d textures for that because it will take too much processing power I would say at least maybe 256 by 256 textures also what let me turn off the depth buffer um, also, I've attempted to implement soft shadows using uh, a technique known as um, person samples, which uh, basically takes a whole bunch of samples and um, <coughs> recursively draws it. This particular demo implementation of it um, uses four samples, which is, to be honest, looks great. I can probably get away with doing something like this using four samples. Also, you can see it's normal map too, to make it look all nice and shiny. <laughs> well, this is pretty much it for this little simple demo. Um, the next demo I'm going to do will cover um, dynamic um, reflective cube mapping, which will might also include refactoring as well. Um, until then, I'll catch you all later. Y'all take it easy.